So what we've got right here is two chairs within three days that broke. This one, you can see the damage is just clear. The feet snapped off. And then this one here is a little bit more of an interesting tale where literally bent metal is a thing, apparently, because it's got a metal base and then underneath, it's got a metal core that attaches to the chair. And I noticed something weird. I was on my chair and I was just like, wow, okay, this is a bit weird. My chair's going back more than it should be. And I was like, let's keep going with this and see where this goes. Then sure enough, I ended up on the floor. So what I'll do right now for you guys is do a reenactment. So here's the problem right here. We've got now a base, like we said before, that's just been completely detached from the core of the chair. And so it got me thinking, what would be a quick and easy fix for not only this chair, but also this chair over here? And some people suggested, because I did post this up on Twitter, they suggest they get a welder and weld it back together. And honestly, I don't have the necessary tools for that. And I don't weld much at all. There is a art and skill to welding. It's not as easy as just, hey, let's weld it back together. So what I'm gonna do is I seen a chair on good old Gamtree for 10 Aussie dollars. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go buy this chair right now. And if all goes according to plan, because another user on Twitter said that chairs are pretty much modular and that they've all got the same standard pretty much. If this works out, I'll be able to fix two chairs for 10 Aussie dollars or about seven USD. And so what I'm planning on doing is using the base for this chair right here and then using the core for this chair right here. So with that aside, let's jump in the Yesmobile and go check out this chair and see if we can fix two gaming chairs for next to nothing. So now it's late in the evening and I got back quite a while ago, but I had to do a heap of other things. But as you can see here, this is the replacement that we got. And the great thing was, was that the guy who sold it to me, uh, he just said, look, we can unpack all this stuff for you. So before we fitted it into the car, uh, we just took it all apart. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean it up because it's really dirty and I'm not gonna put, <laughs> try and attach it like that. So I'm just gonna give it a quick clean now and then we're gonna pull the base off and try and fix one chair really quickly. But then the second chair is definitely going to have a lot of other problems that we're gonna encounter along the way because this uh, chair that we bought has the back of it coming off the base. So we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed, but let's get the clean done and then uh, fix one chair and then we'll get onto the second chair right here. So there it is there, we got one chair fixed and that is working like brand new now. So I'm really happy about that, but it's time to get onto this dangerous pile of mess here. This is gonna be the most difficult one. So let's see what we can try and do first. Thank you. 
And so there we have it. We got the second chair all fixed up and that is working 100%. Well, actually not 100%. The one on the right is 100%. That was a simple fix just with the base there. But this one right here, we have fixed it and it does work with its uplift so you can adjust the height of it. But we've lost the ability now to swivel backwards. And so that's one thing you do lose. And I guess that's where the problem spanned from originally on this chair was that if you rock it, eventually the metal uh, fatigues and then it snapped off. And so one way to fix that was to weld it back up. But again, I'm not good at welding and I don't really know any of my friends who are good at welding. If you do know someone who welds or you can go to a welder and they don't charge too much, that may be a good option to go do. But in this case, we fixed both these chairs for like seven US dollars, 10 Aussie dollars, and it really didn't take a whole lot of work. Uh, this one here was a bit more trickier as we had to use the gas strut and the base off the other chair and then drill four new holes in and they weren't exactly uh, convenient. I had to get a drill with the impact feature on and then we used uh, self tap and metal screws and because it's got two steel uh, plates going through the bottom of the chair, we wanted to drill into those two plates. But because the base plate was uh, shorter than the original base plate, we had to improvise a little bit and drill the holes at a slight angle on all four corners. And then that went in and it hit the two metal plates going through the back of the chair. And that enabled us to then get the plate attached and fix this chair one, well, I'd say probably 80% because honestly, I don't miss having the swivel feature. I really didn't use it to begin with. And this chair actually has its own swivel built into the back of the chair anyway. So if I really need to relax and lie back, I can still do that on this chair. It's just, I've, I've lost that ability to rock back and forth, which I'm not gonna miss because I just use this in a static position and I have for years. I was actually really surprised that it broke down the way it did. Though concluding this video, if you guys are looking to fix a broken office chair or a broken gaming chair, then this method, I can highly recommend it. It's pretty simple as long as you've got a drill, possibly some self-tapping screws and uh, a hammer, a rubber mallet to bang out the base plate. This one was actually very hard to bang out. Uh, this one was very simple. So it depends on the chair, your mileage may vary. But after doing that, it will be a really straightforward fix. And I think the good thing about using something like we used today is that it's an older chair. And in my opinion, the older chairs are just built better. They use heavier, better grade materials. And even some of those materials, I believe that they used back in the day may no longer be allowed to be used, but they're stronger in strength than the materials they use nowadays. As we saw with the steel that they're using in this chair, it just snapped off and I've never seen steel snap off in that way, especially when I'm a guy that weighs just a little over 70 kilo and I don't exactly abuse my chair and I don't really rock back and forth on it. And this one here uh, gets a little bit of use, not as much as this one. And two of the legs just snapped off at the same time, though that may have to do with the fact that it's sitting over there and it does cop a bit of sunlight in the morning. Who knows? But the durability tests will commence from now with this older chair, maybe I can report back in a few years time and tell you if this fix was even better than the original chairs. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us. Also let us know if you have any questions or comments or any further suggestions of your own with these chairs. Big thanks to you guys on Twitter for making this suggestion. It was a really straightforward, easy fix. And it's got my two chairs back up and working without breaking the bank. And lastly, I know there may be some people out there that will be like, why don't you just go buy a new chair or go buy something off eBay, like a base plate or a stand. Uh, they're actually quite expensive. I did check eBay. And when it comes to buying a new chair, I really don't want to. Part of me really actually enjoys uh, just getting a lot of value out of stuff that I've either bought in the past or I want to buy in the future. And just something like this is just such a cheap fix and it's cool to learn something new as well. And I really do enjoy just extracting the most value out of anything I do here on the channel. And hopefully this one did entertain. Anyway, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. If you're enjoying the content and you want to see more, make sure to hit that sub button and ring the bell and I'll see you next time. Peace out for now, bye.